Thank you, everyone, for joining the Credit Concept Podcast. I am your host, credit coach Nicole Scott, and what we are going to be talking about is my story. And by me sharing my story, I'm hoping that I can help inspire those that have gone through similar situations or that are currently in similar situations that I have been through in my life experience. So make sure to listen to all of the episodes in the Credit Concept Podcast. If you are interested in learning more about personal credit or business credit, make sure to follow me on YouTube, Credit Coach Nicole Scott. You can also follow me on Instagram. I have two Instagrams, Credit Coach Nicole Scott and Credit Coach Pros. But today we are going to be talking about my story and how I came to be about and how I got here today. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, thanks for joining me today, guys. I am your host, Chris Coach the Full Scott, and like many of you, I struggled with my credit in the past. So I have always had really good credit. I was able to purchase my first home at an early age. In my early 20s, I've always had very nice vehicles. Um, I had a very big, nice home. I had a nice corporate job. I was with my corporate job as the vice president of operations for over 10 years. And in 2016, I went to work one day, or maybe 2017, between that time, went to work one day. And mind you, we had just moved into a new building. So I thought it was all looking better for the company. And come to find out, the company had lost their license. So therefore, they had to shut their doors. And me being the operations manager, I had to let a lot of my coworkers and friends know that they no longer have a job. I no longer have a job. We no longer have a job. Okay, the doors are shutting and this chapter is over, right? It was traumatizing because I had been there for so long and a lot of the people that worked for me, I had great relationships with. Um, so it was very, very sad. You know, none of us got our final paycheck. It was a messed up situation. So, you know, when that happens and you're used to making a large salary and a good income, but guess what? My, I only had one stream of income and that was it. It was that damn job. I lived for that damn job. Okay. That was my biggest mistake because I'll tell you, when that job was ripped from underneath me, and mind you, we have no control over our jobs. We we don't, you know. There there is security in some positions, but really we cannot control what happens, especially in corporate America. That's why I like a lot of smaller companies because they're more likely to do right by by people. But business is business; things happen. Sometimes it's out of our control. At any rate, um, or it's just not meant to be. One or the other, right? So I lost my job and my credit score. Now, mind you, my credit score was always decent, high 600, but I never really understood credit. I never knew how it was there. I just paid my bills on time because I set up auto pay on everything. And, you know, my, my credit score tanked. You know, I owned a home. I had car notes. I had a Mercedes Benz. I had, you know, a big four bedroom, three bath house. And back then there was no Airbnb that I was aware of. So I didn't really know that I could rent out. And I just, at that point in my life, I, um, I was in a horrible, horrible relationship with a narcissist who was very mentally and physically abusive. And I didn't care about life anymore, to be honest. And I think all of that happened for a reason. And sometimes we just have to go through things and at the time, we, not, we might not understand why, God, why do I have to go through this crap, you know? But at the end of the tunnel, there's always that light, right? There's always, ah, okay, well, you know, I, I get it. And, you know, this is where I'm supposed to be. So sold my house and literally lost everything, lost everything, Okay. My credit score was like in the 400s. It was bad. It was ugly. Like I sold my house. I had money, but I didn't have the credit score to even qualify to rent anywhere. So I was literally living in 
an extended stay hotel in Sacramento, California. And it was horrible. It was full of drug addicts. And I was absolutely miserable. And I think that was like one of the lowest times of my entire life, right? Because I'm used to a certain lifestyle. I'm used to making a certain amount of income. And you go from literally having everything, driving your dream car, living in your dream house. I just remodeled my kitchen. It was custom. My whole house was custom because I had been there for over 10 years. And, you know, it was tough. It was a tough blow to take, you know? So, I ended up having to go live with family and I was still just miserable because I hated the person, my husband at that time. And he was just the biggest POS anyone had ever met. Um, you know, so <clears throat> it was bad, but at any rate, you know, I was even taking depression medication, gained a bunch of weight it was bad. Like things were ugly at that time. And I finally woke up one day and was like, I cannot live like this anymore. I want to change. And change starts with me ditching the, the, the husband because he's worthless, an alcoholic abuser and liar and manipulator. And for me to get my stuff together and move forward. Okay. That is the hardest thing that you could possibly do because sometimes you're moving into foreign territory. You've never done things like this before. It's scary, especially if you have kids. Thank God I didn't have any kids with my husband. So the breakup was very easy for me once I realized I can't do this anymore. I'm done. And I think he realized it as well because we were both miserable and at a certain time, you just have to say, is this healthy? No, because I'm taking this depression medication because I can't stand you and I hate you, but yet I'm still in a marriage with you. It just doesn't make any sense. So got out of that and, you know, about six months later, I started realizing I'm still not happy with myself. I'm still not happy with where I'm at. My credit is horrible. And, you know, I got a job and I wasn't making, I think I was making like $17 an hour. And in California, that's nothing like an apartment, a one bedroom apartment is damn near $2,000 a month. And that's cheap, more like 25, you know, so it's expensive to live out here. And I was just struggling and I never had any money. Um, all my money went to bills. It was just horrible. So I said, I just... I don't know how people can live like this. Like I've got to do something else. Um, you know, and I, you know, at, at that time I was also starting to date people and I, I finally met somebody. And at that time in my life, before I met him, I used to look at other people walking down the street or at the store. And I'm like, man, they look so happy. Like I would give anything just to be happy and, you know, just be in a happy space in my life again, because I'm just so miserable and I just hate where I'm at. But I know if I don't do anything about it, then if I don't fix myself, it ain't going to get fixed, right? If I don't spend the time to work on myself, it's not going to get fixed. So that's exactly what I did. And while I was dating this person, um, we actually got pregnant and that was the first person that I really dated after my husband. And we ended up having a baby. So I had my first baby with this person. And come to find out, this person was absolutely amazing. They helped me recover. They helped me push me to, to my dreams, push me to my goals. Very supportive. Complete opposite of my ex-husband. Complete opposite. You know, everything that I needed, everything that I prayed for, and my life had finally turned around because now I had a purpose. I had the family that I have always wanted, the relationship I had always wanted, the baby I had always wanted, right? So everything started falling in place. The only thing that was really left was how am I going to make more money? How am I going to support this baby? How am I going to be able to contribute to my family? Well, I got to start a business because these employers – out here, it's, it's, there's nothing wrong with having a job. Don't get me wrong. Nothing wrong with it at all. But 
you're going to need in this day and age, like we're damn near in a recession. It is 2023, the end of 2023. You need multiple streams of income. Jobs are unstable. Companies are unstable. So if you haven't started your business or a plan on how to get there and how to generate additional streams of income, now is the time. So that's exactly what I did. I started my business. I joined mentorships. I learned how to generate multiple streams of income. And I also started working on my credit, learning about credit. I literally became obsessed with credit. Every day, all day, when I was at work, I would sit and listen to YouTube podcasts, uh, when I was driving home and driving to work, I was listening to ebooks and podcasts and listening to everything that I could to understand all of this financial jargon, all of the credit jargon on the personal side, all of the credit jargon on the business side. I wanted to know everything. I wanted to know how it's done. And I literally worked on my self worth. Because if you're not educated about something, how are you going to be, you know, successful long term? It's really hard. So that way, you know, I tell people you either got to spend the time or the money. And sometimes it's both. But you got to spend a lot of time working on yourself and educating yourself. And I really worked on my credit for a couple years. I didn't really start helping people with their credit until... Oh, it was about 2019, 2020 that I actually started feeling comfortable like, okay, well, I can start helping people. And of course, you know, you start helping people around you and you start posting things on social media and um, I started creating content around it and here I am today. So, you know, there's still a lot of work that I I am doing on myself, on my business, but it's one of those journeys that we're working towards something. We're not just sitting around and waiting for a check to fall in our lap. Okay. We're, we're actually taking action. We're spending the time to focus on our goals. And even if that's only an hour a day, that is so important for you to focus on improving your credit, understanding how you can get over a 700 credit score, understanding the data points on your credit, printing out your credit report, looking at it, see what's on there, what's affecting you. Listen to the podcast because I go over the data points. I go over trade lines. I go over everything that you're going to need, but you have to spend the time. And if you have money to invest, it's going to help speed up that time. But if you don't, you're going to need to spend a lot of time on YouTube University. And my channel is one of the great ones to to start with because, you know, I've spent a lot of money learning from mentorships and coaches and courses and all this different stuff that, you know, I, I purchased during my journey so I could share it with you guys because, you know, I paid a few $5,000 courses And those hit your pocket tough, you know, that's not something that was really affordable, but I still made it happen. And yet, you know, I don't know that the, some of them may have necessarily been worth $5,000, but you know, we live and learn. And that's one of the reasons why I've made all of my products, my courses, everything so affordable for you guys, because of the fact that it's all there. If you purchase the business credit course or the personal credit course, everything that you need to know about personal credit is in there, even to start a business. Okay. Cause the, the personal credit course is really meant to learn how to repair credit and then start a credit repair business or start a business. And then the business credit, you know, start a business, start building business credit. But no matter what, if you're going to start a business, you're going to need your personal credit, because a lot of you want business credit cards, business lines of credit. And guess what? It all starts with your personal credit. If we want to take life serious, if you want to be successful, you're going to either need to have cash or credit. And a lot of us, we don't have cash, but guess what? We could get credit, right? A lot of us have more credit than we do cash. A lot of us have hundred thousand dollars or more in credit. And that's super powerful. You know, think about that. So 
I really wanted to, you know, just share my story with you guys and tell you, you know, I know sometimes it's hard and I know sometimes we're in tough places in life. But when I tell you that I've been at the lowest, it is most certainly the truth. And if I could do it, you can too. Therefore, I highly recommend that all of you guys work on everything that you can. Spend at least an hour a day focusing on your goals and take action. Thank you for listening. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and watch the playlist coming up next.